Here we are, I'm trying to target pike in a stretch of mostly frozen loch. Obviously temperatures are really low at this day, so I was trying to find some running water in the hope that in the deeper sections would be holding areas for pike. started the day with two ground rigs and one float rig. This float rig here I was trying to get to sit in the current out on the left but I felt like it was just getting dragged into dead water so I eventually did switch to a ground rig. The next plan was to try and get this rig to hold bottom in the current, which is running from my right to my left. Uh -huh. Sit there. Oh, no. Oh, no, indeed. I'm going to get that. <laughs> With my rod set, I decided to take a wee walk around this bay to the next part where I'd be fishing to see if I could spot any interesting features. Oh god, that's ice. In behind this tree stump here, there was a nice deep drop off, which I thought would be a good summer pike spot once the water level had risen a little bit. Oh, wow, that's deep. Something I personally like to do when I'm using oils in my baits is to add a little bit to the water in a current as well, in the hope that I'll get some fish moving, as well as adding some to my baits. I'm not too sure if this actually does work, but it usually seems to bring on some kind of fish, usually within 20 minutes or so after actually doing it, but it could just be coincidence. With my trap set, all I had to do was sit and wait. The line on this left rod took a big slack off and then tightened up again. I sometimes show that a fish has taken the bait and moved in towards the rod. I decided to strike just to be sure. Oh. This is a fish on.
if I can get him in. No, don't go there. God, you at least want to see him before you lose him. Trout! Bloody hell, he's massive! <laughs> he is massive. Christ, that's the biggest trout I've ever caught in my life. Look at that fish, man. Oh my God. Right. Back you go, Mr. Trent. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. I am absolutely in shock at the size of that trout. It was half a mackerel with trout oil. You must have smelled that. Shortly after this, I did decide it was better to move on to the next swim that I'd scoped out earlier. Look at that. Ooh. There we go. along here, there's a big dip behind that tree stump. I'm gonna try it. I 
this one in close. That's a serious run. Oh my word. That's never ending. He's on. <laughs> it's sitting very deep. That's another trout. Actually, turned out to be the same trout as before. He's big. Oh, now give him the silt here. He had been fairly deep the hook near the gill, so I decided just to leave the hooks in, cut the trace and pop them back. That was the end of my excitement for the day. I never managed to get my pipe. I did, however, manage to sort that the next day. <laughs>